what is lacking really is addressing education in that context of emergency in three ways, three direct points. Smart, quick, and sustainable. Being smart is not enough to provide access to children today. It's basically making sure that once they have access, they do not drop out. Because then the, the rates of the dropouts are even more alarming. So it's not about access only. It's about ensuring that they remain in school. So there is a question of relevance and smart. How smart are we really in addressing education in emergency? Quick? Yes, we have to be quick. Because otherwise, they'll fall in a, in a, they will be drifting in another way. And sustainable as well. So how to, do, how to start and how to really deal with all these challenges? is by defining first what are the zones of our control and what are the zones beyond our control. Like when schools are destroyed, this is not in our control. But when teachers are lacking support, this is in our control. And it's key. Teachers training today is key. They are the leaders. The first gap at the moment is that education is not viewed as an emergency priority. And as, as a result, the funds are not, uh, are not there to support that. That's the first. The second is that in our understanding of education within a refugee context, we're not looking at it as a, from a holistic perspective, from a human perspective to say, what is it that you have to give up? What sort of foundation, what sort of basics do you have to have in order to be able to go to school as a refugee? The second, that, the second gap that I see, and this is very related, is the, the attitude that education is often a post-crisis intervention. In Jordan, they are integrating the Syrian curriculum. In Lebanon, it's a big no. It's part of the uh, government decision to, uh, to provide uh, the Lebanese curriculum, which we know is in itself a big challenge to Syrian children who do not have language skills because the curriculum in Lebanon is taught in English or French. So, uh, coordination, there's a lot happening, but there's not enough synergy and cooperation. You see success in terms of programs that integrate parents and communities, as was mentioned. Um, and, and one more thing that, that's very important is you see success in programs that redefine the school as a safe space, as a space where children can come together and it's sacred. Uh, and this is important not just for boys but for girls because the very act of bringing up girls who are very often isolated in camps uh, inside tents <coughs> and allowing them to say, this is what happened to me, allowing them to have friends and mentors. That very act is giving them the right to be a girl again. But the number of teachers who themselves are prepared psychologically to teach is very sparse. And so Massa's point that teacher training is necessary is not just in terms of being able to deliver the Syrian curriculum, but very much for them to manage their own triggers, for them to not take up their frustration and their fear on the children, and for them to manage children who are ex um, who are exhibiting symptoms of aggression and isolation. And then I think my third and final point is that adolescents are not given the attention that they needed. It's much easier for people to be able to fund and support children who are cute and under the age of 10. But I think that the, the very large uh, population of need is very much the adolescents between 11 and 18, uh, who are the ones who are often expected to work. In the case of Pakistan, you have um, one of the largest and most consistent refugee populations in terms of the Afghans. You still have one of the six million Afghan refugees living in Pakistan two decades later. Um, and I think you see there um, a warning in terms of what can happen if you don't effectively integrate and educate a generation. Um, this is a problem that persists. Um, you know, say, we say we are fighting an emergency, um, but this emergency is also an entirely new circumstance, uh, not only for the country where there is war, but also for the country where the refugees are now becoming a part of society. Um, and to see refugee children going to schools in urban areas and in refugee camps, and both of these under the handle and integrate these children effectively.